So being the owners of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, we have three offices. We uh, get a lot of people that either want to start their career or further their career in right. real estate. And so we've laid out the roadmap to being successful in real estate and we wanted to share that with you. So um, most of the agents, they want to be a listing agent. They say, yeah. well, what do I got to do to get more listings? So I ask them, I go, well, what steps are you making right now? Mm -hmm. I hear them. I always come back with, pick an area, we need to farm an area. Yeah. But when we farm an area, we gotta have a specific message for the sellers. Right. Not just, hey, I'm, I'm Steve, I'm a listing agent, come sell your house with me. Yes. We've gotta give them a benefit. Mm -hmm. There's always has to be a benefit. Yeah, you can't say, I only wanna be a listing right. agent. Um, you have to be a really good buyer's agent. So, you know, step one we say is get into the listing business, which really means get familiar with different pockets of homes and neighborhoods that you want to be the specialist in right because um let's say someone from that neighborhood says i want to list my house and then we want to buy xyz you're never going to say well i'm only a listing agent right so that's step one um, um number two which we feel is very important is to generate leads no matter how successful you are you have to constantly be Building putting putting more people into your pipeline. And we, some people come in and they say, I just want to work on referral and I don't really want to. Which is great. Referral basis is great, but typically. It's not enough. And it's not going to be when you first start out, you're not going to have this referral base, this, this healthy referral base. You might have a few friends and family, like the first five, mm -hmm. but then what are you going to do after that? Yeah. So how you grow that, and you need to generate leads. And most people in your sphere know a dozen real estate agents. Right. So um, it's your your sphere of referrals is not enough. You have to generate um, generate business. And you generate it by marketing. You've mm -hmm. got to market yourself. You've got to market your which knowledge. Leads me to number three, which is design a lead generation model. Mm -hmm. And it's intimidating, and you're really good at this. You're just marketing is is your is your strength, but you have to have yeah, a good um, call to action. You have to have a plan. So we like to do target marketing. I don't like to do the shotgun approach. And that's what the typical real estate agent does mm -hmm. is they shotgun it. They say which which idea sticks on the wall and they go with that. So I like to hone in. I like to find who is my ideal customer. Mm -hmm. And with that ideal customer, then I create a custom tailored marketing plan yeah. around that ideal customer. Which has a value proposition. Always have to have a value, proposition, value proposition because everybody, it's what's in it for me. Yeah. So what's in it for me? I take myself out of the equation and I think about if I was the seller or if I was the buyer, what would I want? And that's how I create my marketing plan. Yeah, so you, so you have to lead generate and, and then create a lead generation plan. And then number four is put them in a database. You gotta have them in a CRM. And it's, so, CRM? it's so funny that most people we talk to, well, I keep it on my phone. I keep everything on my phone. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. How do you keep it in your phone? Well, just my contacts list. It's in there. Yeah. Do you run a CRM? That's not, no. What is a running, CRM? It's not running a business. It's not running a business, not a sustainable business. Yeah. Um, a CRM is a contact relationship management program. Yeah. And then I'll, most people ask me, well, what's the best one? And I said, the best one is the one that you're going to use. Yeah. So there's so many different CRMs out there in the marketplace. Um, you know, we've had the same CRM for nearly 10 years. Yeah. You know, we have a database that's approaching 70,000 people right. in that database and, and it's the follow-up. So first step is you create the database, you put your consumer, you put your clients into that database mm -hmm. and then you stay in front of them constantly. Right. You need to stay in front of them. Yes. So you have to have a CRM or a contact management system and this is so important so you're generating these leads you put them into your crm and then you've got a follow-up plan right. so there's a lot of brokerages that um that may or may not tell you to do this um, but we've been um, in this business so long so we actually provide a contact management system for our, for our clients yeah. or excuse me for our agents so um they actually don't even teach have them how to, to use it they don't even have to purchase one right that's one of the benefits of working with us yeah. is that we were both very successful agents. So we took all of the tools that made us, brought us to that level yeah. and provided all for our agents. Yeah. So then number five is understand your financial model. And 
This is really important because so many agents, they get like a $4,000 check and they go spend it. They spend every little penny of it. So what you need to do is first of all, take your taxes off the top and either pay it into your quarterlies or put it into a savings account until you pay your quarterlies. And then- Take your marketing money. You 20% to marketing, right. 30%. What is that budget? How did you lay it out? And then, um, and then money that goes back to your lead gen and then pay yourself. Right. And a lot of times when you're getting started, those first checks, you're probably not gonna have a whole lot because you're having to- I went six months in the business yeah. without getting my first check. Right, right. So it's not easy to kind of build that. So, um, you know, build your budget. And I think as more checks come in, uh, more paychecks come in, the more money you can allocate to marketing and lead gen and, and keep to building To grow your business. That. Yeah. Um, this is really important and we teach this here. Number seven is to uh, document every procedure you use. So let's say you're doing a lead generation marketing program that you put together and you've done it for six months and you're recording on each closing where they came, what right. closing, where they came from. Every phone call that comes in, you need to be asking your client, how did you hear about me? And then you need to track it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you're not tracking it, then um, you don't know if it's working. Right. So at the end of six months or so, you're gonna look and see, okay, how many, how many clients did I get from this? Maybe that I'm nurturing right, right. now. And, cons and consistency. So you yeah. need to track it and have consistency. Yeah. Because I'll hear from so many people that'll, everybody can start something, but the very few can stay steady at it. And you have to do this over and over and over again. It's not just a quick fix. You can't just roll in and do something for two months and say, well, it didn't work. I'm gonna throw my hands up. You've gotta be consistent with it and you gotta be consistent with your message and get it out there. Minimum one year commitment. Yeah, that's what we say. Yeah. And then the next one is my favorite. It's putting together a schedule because a lot of real estate agents also. Um, there's a lot of freedom in this business. Yeah, no one's telling you to come to work and you can go to lunch whenever you want. You can take as long as lunch as you want. Um, um, but you have to time block. So what do you do when you get up? You know, um, when do you return emails? When do you return phone calls? When do you work on your transaction? So, and I always say success leaves clues, and I tell everybody that you need to find this, the people in your industry or other industries that you admire. Mm -hmm. Talk to them because success leaves clues. Every one of them has a schedule, and they do the same thing every single day. Yes, and in my opinion, um, a lot of people might disagree with me, but when you're brand new and you're building a business, you should not take a day off. You should be doing open houses on Saturdays and Sundays, on Memorial Monday. You should be working. And so it's almost like you're training for a marathon. You're not gonna take a day off until the big race. Right. So you have to build, 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 build. Those days off are earned when you're building a business. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one, which um, we also really love, is to take a lot of pictures of yourself and hire a designer. Right, in-house design. We, well, we offer an in-house designer. Yeah. But you've got to have somebody that makes you look good. Yes, so you can't be a secret agent. Right. It, you have to plaster yourself all over social media. And I say that we love this because we have a design team at our office. I don't think either of us are very good at anything on social media, um, but our design team is good at it. And and so um, you're, you're probably seeing a trend here that all of these things we provide at our office. To um, make the real estate agent be successful. Mm -hmm. We have two in-house designers. And so a lot of things are automatic. You don't even know that you're just listed Social because most of us, is. we're good at being with clients. Yeah. We're not mm -hmm. good at sitting at the desk, designing ads, yeah. mm -hmm. getting ourselves out there. Yeah. And so that's why you and I, we've created all these systems to do the heavy lifting for our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so lots uh, lots of promotion, pictures, and then um, use utilize a design. Yeah, t and tell your story. Yeah. You need to tell your story. Yeah, and then um, we also say too, to promote listings. So um, any listings you have, you just promote it like crazy. Maybe you have a, um, you talk about kitchens on Monday and you 
show the beautiful right. kitchen of Backyards the home that you, on Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. And so you're going to promote listings. Um, and what do you do if you don't have any listings? So at our office, we have an IDX feed, which allows us to share any listing from the Northwest MLS. And, um, and so you can pull different listings and share those on your yeah, blog. And, and talk to your fellow agents, use their listings. Everybody likes to have their listings showcased. So go out to, you know, I, I always encourage our agents to go to my listings and take photos of it and post it on their social media. And it's just more exposure for me, the office and our agents. Yeah, yeah. And we've got a really cool system at Better Homes and Gardens. Um, it's called the Greenhouse, and it allows you to share some really cool posts of different listings, and they put graphics and some neat things on it. So, um, and then last, last step is to satisfy your clients. Yeah, and that's, that's the most important out of all of it. It's service, service, service. So here's an example. You spent um, all this money on, um, lead gen on your crm on your designer your uh, social media posts and you hired a photographer to take pictures of you and you put all this money into your business and you got three customers from it and three paychecks but if those customers were not happy with your service or or your service was nothing um nothing that that was lasting or or, right. or made an impression on them or i guess um forgettable, maybe you were very forgettable. Um, so if you don't have testimonials or these raving fans. Well, we always say work towards a five-star review. Yes. Don't work towards a paycheck. Yeah. If you work towards a five-star review and getting a, a testimonial from your client, mm -hmm. you will always be rewarded in the end. Right. So put service first, paycheck is second. So let's say you get, um, you did all this stuff, those three client had those three closings and you got a three star or less, they're never gonna refer to you. Right. They're never gonna say our agent was amazing. So that's also what builds your business is these raving fans that will, um, they promote you. And, and always ask if you did do a good job for referrals. Yeah. Ask them if they know anybody that could benefit from your, ser your services as well. Yeah. So if you are interested in a career in real estate or furthering your career, we'd love to chat with you. Uh, reach out and give us a call.